Okay guys, so if you've crashed and you've broken your circular polarized antenna as I've done here, you can see that the top of the antenna is no longer attached to the signal. Um, you could probably repair this by re-soldering that very carefully, but uh, I don't think it'll work very well. Most of the times uh, when this happens to me, I just remove this antenna completely and I replace it with a linear whip antenna. And I recommend getting something like this as a pack of four of these antennas. What they've done here is they've already uh, pre-cut the end here where you solder it onto the uh, video transmitter. And this is actually where a lot of people screw this up is uh, they can't get this outer sheath and then there's, a, there's, a, there's like a ground covering and then there's an inner sheath and then there's a signal. So there's like four layers there. And this is some, somewhat tough to actually do properly. Uh, I even messed this up myself. But this comes pre-cut and pre-tinned. The ground's pre-tinned there and you have enough space there and then you have this signal right there. It's so tiny you can barely see it. It's all pre-tinned and ready to go. So then all you all you gotta do is you gotta remove the old antenna and then solder on the new antenna. And basically there's gonna be the signal part which is right here in the center and then this outer part here is the ground. So we're gonna take your soldering iron and you wanna slide this off. So I usually get my iron about 450 uh, Celsius and I put it right across the whole thing here, get it nice and hot and then slide it off really quick. You don't want to be on there too too long and get this board heat up too much and then it'll, uh, it might damage the board. So you want to slide it off really quick and then we'll retin uh, the ground and the signal and then solder on the new antenna. Okay so usually the little tip here is you want to get a little solder on the soldering iron so that it'll help it get started. So you can get it on and off really quick. So I'm going to put a little solder on. And as soon as you see it melting, you want to slide it off. There we go. So then once you've slid, uh, so once you remove the antenna, you want to then uh, retin the ground and the signal. Okay, so I did a little. Uh, so I retin the ground and the signal. And at this point, you want to sort of measure up how you want to put this on here. I usually solder the signal first like there and then I'll bridge uh, the ground or the ground part right there to the uh, two ground parts on the side using two solder blobs. That's usually the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I've soldered the signal on, and now I just got to bridge the ground part there to the ground on the board. Okay, so the uh, little alligator clips was, wasn't holding onto the camera, kept falling off, so I clipped the alligator clips to the antenna, and then uh, I'm going to do it this way. So probably just put a little solder on the iron, and then I just have to bridge uh, this ground to that ground. I'll do the uh, left one first. Okay, so I've got that bridged here, and you just got to make sure that you don't have the signal bridging to the ground, otherwise uh, yeah, bad things will happen, you probably won't get any video at all. But once you've, uh, basically the ground here, you want to bridge both sides, that'll basically serve as support, so that it, it'll keep the antenna on, and then um, obviously you have the signal here. You, you Technically you only need one of the grounds to be 
soldered on, but I usually put both on to keep it, uh, to help support it. And then you probably want to uh, put some additional heat shrink around this little section here so that it doesn't you know, bend. At basically this little point right here between the covering and the, the solder becomes a weak point, and uh, if it starts bending, then it'll eventually break and have to replace the antenna uh, if you have a lot of crashes. So anyway, that's how you uh, replace an antenna. Uh, I like the fact that these come uh, pre-ready to go. You don't have to do any cutting. There's also um, a few other different types of antennas out there with different links. Uh, I'll put links to all these in the description below if you want to check them out. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.